All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a macOS Monterey virtual machine inside of UTM. Now, this method was recently introduced when macOS Monterey was released, and there have been several other virtualization softwares that you have been able to run macOS Monterey in. For example, Parallels um, or VMware. Um, or there is this custom Xcode project that you can download that will allow you to run a macOS Monterey virtual machine. And UTM is just another one of those options. So if you already use UTM for other virtual machines, um, that could work um, to use this. Um, now, let's talk about some of the requirements to run macOS Monterey in a virtual machine. You must have an Apple Silicon Mac. Uh, if you do this on an Intel Mac, it will not work. Um, you must have an Apple Silicon Mac. Um, also, your Apple Silicon Mac must be running macOS Monterey as the host operating system, uh, macOS Monterey or later. So, if you have Big Sur, it will not work. So, I have a computer that is meeting those conditions. It's an M1 MacBook Air running macOS Monterey 12.3.1. So, the process is pretty simple. So, all we have to do is go on to UTM and click Create Virtual Machine. We're going to click Virtualize. We're going to go Mac OS. And this is going to ask us to either download or choose an IPSW file. Let's talk about what an IPSW file is. It is used to restore an M1 Mac or Apple Silicon Mac. Um, that has damaged firmware or software. In this case, it is used to install macOS. So the IPSW file has macOS on it so that it's just in one package. It restores macOS, it restores recovery, it restores the firmware. So we have an IPSW file on an external drive, which is this. This is 12.0.1. It's an old version. It's the first version of Monterey. But I just happen to have this. And so let's go ahead and do that. Now this will allow us to allot how much RAM. Let's go 8 gigs of RAM. It's always a, a good amount for a virtual machine. Uh, this, machi uh, this host machine has 16 gigabytes of RAM. And we'll just keep it at the default 64 gigabytes of storage. And let's just call this Monterey 12.0.1. And hit save. And when we start it, it is going to pop up this. And this basically says, would you like to install Mac OS um, on the virtual machine? And so we are going to hit OK. And then the installation process will begin. And this will take quite some time. Uh, this IPSW file is also on a spinning hard drive, so it's going to take uh, even longer. Um, so I'm going to let this run, and when this is done, I will resume the video. All right, so this IPSW just finished restoring. It actually didn't take that long. Um, I thought it was going to take much longer, and we are at a setup assistant. So let's go ahead and hit continue here. And let's go through this setup process. And when I am done going through the setup process and run a desktop, I will resume the video again. So I have just gone through the setup assistant and we are on a usable desktop. So let's just go ahead and throw this in full screen here um, so we can get the full screen real estate. Let's go up to about this Mac. And we can see we are running we have 8 gigabytes of RAM. It is virtualizing that M1 chip. Um, and we are still running um, uh, almost a native 1080p. It's a little bit less. Um, now, I noticed while going through the setup assistant, this actually runs much faster than the Xcode project, which is nice. Um, so, that is how you can create a virtual machine. Um, of macOS Monterey inside of UTM. And 
In the next video, we're going to look at some performance and testing some things out here. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful, and thank you for watching.